Hello and welcome everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS. You are watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Leading things off, our first guest is a lingerie designer and love coach. Watch out. She joins the show to share some tips and tricks for couples going into Valentine's Day and beyond. So please welcome to the show, Hot Coco. Psst. Hey, Bob, how you doing? How are you? I'm fantastic. What you been up to? I know you've been uh, putting a lot of things together, getting ready for yes. Valentine's Day. Yes, trying to help people to go into the sensual realm and be at peace with everything that's going on in there. So you've been doing it. Talk about some of the things that you've been working on. Well, some of the things that I'm working on is just this movement that I'm doing that is about helping people to be okay with everything that has to do with intimacy, every conversation, and being comfortable within their own skin to have these conversations, to keep the peace. I see, I see. How's the Vulture? He's good. Will you tell him I said hello, okay? I now, will. Are I you will. helping men and women embrace their sexuality? Yes, I am helping men and women both. It's couples, single men, and single women. All of them, I'm helping them walk into the sensual realm to embrace that side of themselves. Because that's the side that's going to ignite everything in their life. And how has this helped you in your life? I know you've been working on this for some time. Have you taken any personal lessons from uh, what you share with others as a love coach? Yes. Yeah, so what happened is everything that I've shared, I've already experienced. So whether it be my, me experiencing myself, whether it's me having a conversation with someone, I've experienced a lot of what I'm telling people to do and try and think about. What advice do you have for others entering, uh, like, into a brand new relationship, just starting out for the first time? They're trying to get their feet wet, get to know each other. Not to have expectations. Going with a clean, open slate and be ready, ready for whatever experiences is coming. Stay away from expectation. And you have some things coming up. Do you have a, like a, a, a thing where people are coming together and they're going to be working in one room, all under one roof, and you, you'll be able to show them different things and speak to them? Yes. Yes, I have something coming up in April, and it's about everybody coming together in one space and having an open conversation. But what I do is I ask a lot of questions that has to do with different topics. And then I go to the different people within the room, whether it's couples, whether it's singles, individuals. And then I have them give their opinion and then have a, keep the floor open for people to debate or not debate, agree or disagree, but to understand the dynamics of the conversation that we're having. Do you get a lot of phone calls? They say, I want to talk to Hot Coco. Uh, I want to talk to Hot Coco. I want to find out more of how I'm going to do my ting. Uh, tell us, is there something that stands out in your mind that came to, or maybe they're listening to you and you can't tell. I don't know. But if you can, let us know what they said, what, the, what kind of questions they're asking. Yeah, I have a lot of people that call, and a lot of times when they call, it's they're going through a lot of different things in their relationships. So they call and they say, I need a love coach. I need you to talk to me. I don't know what to do. So then I just, I listen to the conversation. Let me know what's going on. Give me the meat and potatoes of it all. And then I will decipher with you exactly what's going on. But you're the one that's going to make the decision as to what's really going on. I'm just going to guide you through it. And how far do you want to take this? What do you want people to know about what you're doing? Well, what I want people to know about what I'm doing is I want people to open up that space where all of the skeletons are. I always say I want people to walk me into the skeletons, to where the skeletons are, and let's start decipher what's in there and clearing that out. Giving, you, giving yourself a chance to have an a, a, um, a open mind to let go of lot, a lot of the stuff that's holding you hostage in your own life. And a lot of times, people think that, people think that int intimacy doesn't have anything to do with mental illness, and with wellness, but it does, it's the base of a lot of things that people are dealing with. Because that is destroyed, a lot of things in your life is destroyed. Anything coming down the line, like uh, maybe a book or podcast, TV show? I don't know. I'm just, just asking. 
Well, I would actually love to have um, a podcast. I would love to have a, a, rea a, a reality show, actually. I love to have a reality show that's focused on intimacy. There is going to be a, a book that I'm coming out. It's a journal where you have to actually write down all of those things that you're going through to get it out of your system. And then I'm going to help people read it. And then we're going to decipher what's on that piece of paper. So where can we go to find out everything that you're doing? Social media, websites, let me know. Let me know where to go. Okay, so where people can go to find that everything that I'm doing is link, at link, my Linktree link, which is linktree.com, the bedroom takeover. Linktree.com, the bedroom takeover. Everything that I'm doing is on there. All right. So what are you doing leading up to Valentine's Day? Are you preparing for something for that, that very, very special day? Or are you just going to receive a whole lot of calls and emails and texts? Well, for Valentine's Day, I'm actually going to Atlanta to do a show, but I'm also going down there to do a small women's retreat with some girls that want me to come down and speak to them about the different things that they can try to achieve for Valentine's Day. Hey, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for letting us share this space and time with you. We really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's the love coach right there. Hot Coco. Sasha, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All, right. all right. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back and uh, we'll give you a whole lot more next. <laughs> 